today, uh, my office is announcing the indictment for the murder of O'Shea Sibley. Uh, the death of this young man is both tragic and senseless. A teen has been charged with the murder of O'Shea Sibley, a 28-year-old professional dancer from New York. The 17-year-old man has been charged in this case and indicted with a count of murder in the second degree as a hate crime. The defendant, uh, because it's elevated as a hate crime murder too, faces a minimum of 20 years jail and a maximum of 25 years in jail to life. Justice! For O'Shea. Justice, Justice for O'Shea. O'Shea! Sibley was stabbed to death at a Brooklyn gas station. O'Shea and his friends were allegedly targeted uh, because they were dancing. Uh, they were being themselves, dancing joyfully to Beyonce music at a Brooklyn gas station, harming no one and refusing to stop even when confronted with anti-black and homophobic slurs demanding that they stop dancing. Suspects told Sibley that dancing offended their quote Muslim faith and they made comments about him wearing pink shorts according to the source. When I became district attorney I established uh, Brooklyn's first hate, dedicated hate crimes bureau. Uh, unfortunately it's exactly for these types of cases. We promised the family that we would have a vigorous and thorough prosecution to hold this offender who is 17 years old accountable for his deadly deeds on that day. O'Shea feels the love. O'Shea is up in heaven voguing down as he hear his name get enchanted from each and every one of you. Loved ones have had funerals, vigils, and several memorials in O'Shea's honor, including a memorial at the gas station where Sibley was killed. He was here um, to shine a light on himself and really shine a light on this community in, in, in New York City. And his light was shut off, was killed um, for senseless reasons, reasons that I think have to be addressed. Several celebrities have honored Sibley, including Spike Lee and Beyonce, who wrote on her website, Rest in Power O'Shea Sibley. Glad released a statement after the teen's arrest and said in part, the arrest of the suspect is one measure of justice for O'Shea and all LGBTQ people who just want to be themselves and be safe. We must hold accountable anyone whose words and actions are used to harm vulnerable people. I hope that this message is loud and clear. In Brooklyn, we will never tolerate acts of hate crimes or any intolerance that's directed at any particular groups this is Inside Edition Digital.